speaker natin today, actually he is the very special person here in GFAX International. Yes. Sa ang rason kung bakit meron GFAX International? Yes! 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 Sa mga core, okay, kung bakit maraming natulungan na buhay ang GFAX International. Okay? Gusto ko muna, bago ko saan, bago natin siya welcome, tumayo ko muna tayong lahat. Okay? As we call on our speaker for today, our founder, CEO and President, no other than Mr. David Tan. Expensive, right? 
Now, the reason is it becomes smaller and smaller beside your peso value depreciate is also because of inflation. There's inflation happening in the Philippines, right? Especially this year, the inflation is already over 4.3 percent. What's the meaning of inflation? What's the meaning of inflation? Anybody know? Anybody study economy here? You used to have maybe 100 pesos, you can buy a set meal in Jollibee. Next year, maybe it's 110 pesos. That's inflation. The next next year, 120 pesos. Alright? Your money is getting smaller and smaller. Things that you are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay? Now, we also know that the oil price increased. Agree? Yes. Recently, it's a, uh, it's the change of the tax will become more expensive. Your rice is also expensive. Yes. yes. Oh, a lot of, a lot of mummy here, they know, okay, when they go to buy rice, they see the rice getting smaller, All right? The rice is even getting more expensive. Your instant noodle, your cake sardine, your coffee refill, your meat, your detergent, your panda sun, even the panda sun that you eat every day. Okay, your powder, your toilet, <laughs> the territory, everything is. Increasing. Okay. Your cigarette is increasing. Okay. If you smoke one pack a day, you have to cut down maybe half a pack a day. Okay. Because your money getting smaller and smaller. Your car is getting more expensive. Right. Last time you used to be able to buy a bigger car for your family. Now you have to think about for budget costing, you have to buy a smaller car. The car is getting more expensive. Your house is also... Do you know why your house become more expensive? Materials. Material cost increase because your peso decrease. Increase. Correct? You import your material to build your house, right? Yes. But your peso become bigger. Your material cost increase. So your house is getting more expensive. If you haven't buy a house, I have a bad news for you, your house is getting more and more expensive. Is there a time that they will tell you the, the house becomes cheaper? Yes. They will tell you that next year the, the house will get cheaper? No. The price will always going up, right? So the necessity surrounding us, whether we like it or not, it's getting more and more difficult to meet. It's getting more tougher for us to meet the minimum requirement that we want to have a comfort life. Do you agree? Yes. That's the reality. Okay? Now, people say that you have to go for education, okay? Thinking about your dream. You have a good grade. Go study, alright? After study already, for how many years you study? <coughs> 18 years of study before or less. Uh, if you are really good in study, you have 18 years. If you are very bad in study, Now, just to realize that the moment you celebrate your graduation, you get your certificate already. From graduation, you come to reality, you have no work to do. All right? So, in the end, you have to go back to your Employment rate in the Philippines is also high. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the reality is this: in 1990, according to my study, okay, more or less, the daily job, the daily salary in the Philippines is 90 pesos a day. So, according to him, 90 pesos a day is good. That I can have a Good life, comfort life, 90 pesos a day. Okay? 2018, more or less you have 500 pesos a day, is that right? So 500 pesos for you today is mean what? Meaning? A lot of headache, okay? A lot of stress, is that right? Is 500 enough for you? Definitely it's not enough, right? Because look at your necessity. All price is increasing, right? Now, 
in the bed. Many years ago, 2010, 500 pesos a week you buy for grocery. Mommy, you will know, okay? So you can buy a lot of things, right? Good for one week for a family, correct? 2018. <laughs> 1,500 pesos a week you buy? You buy <laughs> So you eat peanut, okay? So you eat peanut. Okay, we all have this problem. Okay? Pronounce with me, we all have this disease called money not agree? Yes. We all have this disease, right? We need to find a way to cure it. And today, I want to give you the medicine to cure it. Okay? from WHO. Philippines have an average lifespan of 69.3 years old. So more or less, we, we can live until 69 years old. Huh? But the reality is this, huh? okay? male will die faster. Male will die at 66 years old. And female will live until 72 years old. Now this is something that mommy has to realize. Our partner will leave us faster. So if you are housewife, so you actually have around eight years, six years, six years, you need to be independent. Alright, if you're thinking that your only breadwinner in your house is only your husband, <coughs> you have to think about it. You have to ask your husband, honey. I know that you will pass faster than me. <laughs> so just to be sure. So you at least have to have six years of saving for me. So that I can survive six years. Okay? So go home and tell your husband this joke. Okay? Right. Now that's more or less the case. Why? Right? Somebody said you want to tell your husband already? <laughs> See whether you're giving it or not. Okay? This is zero. Ten. Can you read it? Yes. Say yes. Yes. Thank you. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. In between here you go to heaven already. Okay? <laughs> so <laughs> average. Okay, average. I go to the study. Now, the reality is this. We can live more or less, let's say we are blessed, okay? Let's say we are blessed. We can live around 80 years old, huh? Eh? We can live years, okay? So, now, from zero, the moment you're born <coughs> and you enjoy your life and you go for education, so you start learning, right? Yes. How the world is working, right? So, you from zero to 20 or 18, depend. You're basically what? Enjoy life, uh -huh. enjoy, okay? <laughs> enjoy life, alright? Enjoy, because you are studying, alright? Study is the best moment of our life for many, many people think, okay? Because you enjoy it, okay? At that time, you have a lot of time, correct? Many, many freedom, free times, correct? Yes. What about money? I don't know. What about money? You are a poor student. Nobody. But you have plenty of time. Agree? Anybody yes. still there? Yes. Oh, no student here. Yes. Still student? Okay. <laughs> Alright. For 20 years old, when you go out from the school, what do you do? <clears throat> Step on the foot to the society and you start to look for a job. Okay? So you will work. Let's say you work until what? How many, how many years? You're going to, how many years you plan to work? After 60. Uh, 60. 60. 60, let's retire on 60. Years. So 20 years old start to work. 60 years old retire. Yes. So congratulations, according to the study, you only have 9 years to, survive, uh, to play. So you have 9 years to enjoy, okay? 9 to 10 years to enjoy, right? Okay. <laughs> so look at this chart. And you have to understand that. The big chunk of your life you are spending for job. 
Yes. Working yes. for other people. Drink. Yes. Sama. Yes. Now, what makes this thing even more interesting is this. Okay. Twenty years old, you start to work. You are a young guy learning about the working environment, or from, uh, the corporate uh, environment. You want to work for a set of rules, right? So in between here, 20 to 30 years, so basically it's also the moment that you look for your boyfriend and girlfriend, huh? Am I? Or you already look for boyfriend and girlfriend before 20? <laughs> I don't know, okay? <laughs> Let's assume, right? 20 years old, you start to look for boyfriend and girlfriend. So when do you want to get married? 25. <clears throat> <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs>
which one your house is your marriage. Marriage. So when you get married, do you guys want to have honeymoon? Anybody want honeymoon?
You already 40 years old. Don't you even think, don't you even have a thought that you want to have a car? Yes. How many of you think that at the age of 40 you should have a car? Can I say yes? Be honest with me. At least you need to have a car, right? Yes. So you need to prepare another ticket for? At the age of 40, you want to have a house? Yes. Oh, okay. I was spending here. I was spending 40 to 50. I was spending 40 to 50. You have a? I'm a little bit late because the bank might not pass, uh, might not approve your loan. Because they want you younger, so they can approve the loan. If you're getting older, older, the bank will reject your? Application. Your loan. Application. Application. Because you're already very old. You don't know your health condition, right? Yes. If you pay halfway, you already? Go back to heaven, we don't know, okay? So, let's, 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 let's don't give too much pressure to the boy, don't give too much pressure to the new, new couple, alright? So, they okay, if they have a car, let's put the house on the 40 to 50 years old, okay? The big part of your money go to house, that's you, okay? But the age of 50 to 60, what happened to you?
How long you do dating? How long you texting? So how many hours left and how many years left for your dream? How many years left for you yourself? <coughs> Do you remember when you just uh, kids your dream? That you say you want to do it when you are free? You say that I was planning to do this tomorrow, you know, I'm planning to start a business tomorrow. I will have this idea, you know, I'm planning to do that. There's always tomorrow, 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 but the time is short. We all has no time to fight for other people's dream. We need to save the time for ourselves. That's why you are here today. That is time capsule training. Okay? Next!
self and myself only. Okay, that is left side thinking. Next, they believe safe and secure. They believe that oh, have to be safe, have to be secure. So every time you ask them to invest a business, they will say too risky. Invest in the stock market too risky. Start your own business. Too risky. Too risky. They want safe. They want go to work, punch in five, uh, eight, go up five, money come in. Right? So this is the people on the left side. Next, they have limited income. Okay, if you base on employment, you have a minimum and a maximum income that you can earn. Okay? Next. They believe in active income by their own effort. Next, this is the group of people who are 90% of the population in the world, but they are only earning the 10% of the wealth. They are 90% of the population in the world, but they are only earning the 10% wealth that is available. Okay, look at the right side. Right side is the business owner. The big corporate, okay, the big business owner, they do believe in personal effort, they believe in leverage. Leverage. leverage, they believe in system. So how do you know the company has system? They hire people who are capable and more powerful than them. They hire manager, they hire CEO, they hire they hire talented people to work for, for them. Even though they go to sleep, the money still coming in. in. That's a business owner. I is an investor. People who already have capital, they go to invest. They buy different company. Okay, let the company generate more money for them. Buy stock. The stock increase, they sell the stock, they make money. B and I is a person who believes next in team work. They believe that everybody has limitations. They believe that they don't know anything. They believe that people are more talented than him. So he trusts people to work with him. He believes in him, works. Next. He takes risks for breakfast. This group of people believe and very brave to take in risks. Okay, next. They have an unlimited Income potential. Number four, they believe in passive income. income. What's the meaning of passive income? This is your income, meaning even though I'm active involved or inactively involved, I still get money. How many of you feel like passive income? Okay, thank you so much. They are earning 90% of the wealth in the whole world. 90% of the wealth is in their hand. They control the economy of the world. Okay? But they are only 10%. Okay? So now, the idea here is to get out of and to meet your need. It's not continually staying on the left. It's you need to have a mentality switch from the left side going to the right side. Right side. That is your challenge. If you don't want to have money not enough issue, you need to have a mentality switch from the left to the right. right. Next. Okay? Now, that is why when we talk about traditional business, let's look at tradi traditional business compared to network marketing. Okay? Or we call direct selling. Let's look at the difference. Okay? Let's look at traditional business. Okay, traditional business need investment. How big is the investment for uh, Jalibi? Twenty-five. Depend on location. Minimum. Twenty-five. Thirty-five million minimum. And the price is still increase. Increasing. Okay. Okay. Let's say you do invest Jalibi. Let's say you invest uh, boutique. Open a boutique, but hopefully you can sell clothes. How much is your investment? 
hundred to two hundred thousand, right? Because you need to have minimum of three months of credit deposit to the place you rent, correct? Right? And three months advance payment for the monthly uh, renter, correct? Right? Next, and how is the ROI, the return on investment? Can you invest now two hundred thousand and next? Next week, you get paid 200,000? For five years. Huh? Five years. You open a shop, you spend 200,000. When can you give me a 200,000? Next year. What do you think based on your, based on your forecast? With how long for you to do back your return on investment? Five years. Three years. Three to five. Three to five years. Five if you are successful. If you are successful. But always remember that traditional business based on the statistic that we have, 80% of the company will close down within the first two years in operations. They cannot survive the first two years. Okay? So next, when you start a traditional business, do you think you need to knowledge and experience? Yes. yes. To make sure that you have lower risk, at least you know you should know what you're doing, right? Yes. Alright, if you open a boutique, at least you should know which clothes to choose, right? Yes. If you open a, a restaurant, at least you should know what food you want to serve, right? Yes. You cannot have zero knowledge and jumping in expecting something to happen, Nama. Yes. So for you to have the knowledge, you think how long before you can have the knowledge? One day? Two days? Years of experience, right? So you have to go back to work first on the field that you want to start the business. Nama, if you want to be a restaurant owner, you might need to be a kitchen helper first, right? Learn how to cut, right? And then slowly learn how to cook, right? And then you steal the recipe from your. Okay, then you start. And you start the next, start another restaurant opposite to your boss. No joke. So, anyway, you need knowledge and experience next. And you need to hire employee, right? Yes. And you need to pay their salary, Nama? Yes. Now, the difference between an owner and an employee is this. Huh? At the end of the month, employee have money. 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 At the end of the month, the boss have? No, the, money. the boss have bill. Yes. Salary have to pay. Do you know that? That's a difference. You have to put every mentality straight. If you are an employee jumping to a boss, you find it very awkward because every 15 you have money if you are employee. But if you are a boss, every money you have, you have bill to pay before you have money. So your employee has to pay. Your renter you have to pay. Your Barako bill you have to pay. Your water bill you have to Pay. pay your internet bill. You have to pay. Pay, pay, pay. What left for you? I have peanut. Let's see. Okay. Next, very high overhead cost because of rental, internet, electric, insurance. You need to buy insurance also. Okay. You have to pay government tax also. Ama? Ama? Yes. We have city, <laughs> city hall license. <laughs> so they simply give you a bill you have to pay, alright? Thanks. You also have a uh, cost of good, the inventory issue. If you buy, if you start a business that involves inventory, for example, you start a skincare business, you open a skincare clinic, you need to invest in the inventory, Dama? Right? Yes. You have skincare equi uh, equipment, Dama? Right? Yes. So all these things you need to consider. You might need to also have a warehouse, Dama? Right? If you put all your skincare product in the place, let's say accident happened, fire happened, what will happen to you? Tomorrow declare bankrupt. So anyway, so you might need to buy insurance as well, correct? So that's all the cost. Next. It's okay already? Wow, amazing, okay? You also need to have advertisement? Yeah, Free. Don't start a traditional business expecting the customer to walk to your house. Walk to your house. Walk to your shop and then buy a lot of things. If you don't invest in advertisement, nobody knows you. You understand that? Nobody knows you, right? Next, 
your location restriction, right? If you decided to start your business in Kotika's area, your customer is within. Can people from Davao come to Otikas and buy from you every month? <laughs> Something, some crazy people they do, nah, I don't know who are they. Okay, so they fly and go back, they pass over, right? So you have restriction, challenge. Also, right? You only can do the business on that occasion itself. You have time, restrictions. Alright? You have 8 hours for sleeping. You only have how many hours? 16 hours, you open non-stop. Is it possible? No. Possible, you become zombie. After you want to So they depend on you. But if you really stuck yourself in the traditional business, you have to understand that you think that you own the business. No, the business owns you. 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 The business owns you, okay? Next, hi. Remember that whatever capital that you invest is not the loss that you're going to lose. You might lose more than what you invest. How many of you here have traded a business before? Ask them if they throw, <coughs> if they folded their traditional business, they lost more than what they invest. You know why? Assume I started a boutique business, two hundred thousand. So the first six months business is very bad. I have negative. So I lose money, right? But do you still need to pay salary? Yes. yes. Do you still need to pay rent? Yes. What about bill? Internet bill? Water bill? So all this money comes from where? You might need to borrow money, right? Yes. Because you already spent the 200000 to start the business. You cannot fold the business just like that, alright? Or one month no business, okay, I decided to stop my business. Is that how you do business? Of course, you have to borrow money from bank or whoever you borrow money and continue to run the business, right? Having the risk to know whether the business will become better. Yeah. So usually when the traditional business fall, the owner not only bankrupt, they bankrupt with a lot of debt. If you invest one million, you have a higher two to three million risk of losing that money. Okay? That's traditional business. We do own the business, the business own you. Okay? That's saying, it doesn't mean that you cannot start a trading business. Same thing. If you can manage your risk and you have enough knowledge and you know what you are doing, you can start. Alright? But if you have zero knowledge, you just want to shish from the left to the right to start understanding the business and to start learning entrepreneurship. If this is what you are, I would strongly suggest that you start with network. Marketing. Why? Number one, you have a very small investment. investment, and sometimes I call it zero investment. You know why? Because for you to start a business, you just need to buy their products, products. <coughs> and you use the product, buy the product with value. Don't start a network marketing with no products, <laughs> or don't start network marketing selling perfume, <laughs> no value. All right, buy something that has value so that you can resell you can get back your investment right that's why i say zero investment because you get value products that you can sell if you sell all the products you get back your capital already there's no risk you still own the business yes. okay next very short roi very fast you can get back your Return on investment, Tama. How long for you to return get your return investment in GFOX? Hours. Hours. How many hours? Six. <laughs> right? Depend on Depends how fast you sell a product. Depends how fast you post the product in Facebook. Right? Depends how fast you start open your mouth. mouth. But if you always I don't know how long, okay? So but if you really like a like a machine gun. Okay, very fast. Maybe one day you give it your investment. Correct? Yes. Very short. No business in the market that has such a fast ROI than network marketing. Do you know that? Yes. <laughs> it was amazing. Okay, next. No experience required. Do you need to study network marketing? Is there a school to study? 
Yeah, there is a this called GeForce training room. Okay, so then, right? You can start with zero. Next, there's no. Do you need to hire people? No. Example, okay, I'm joined GeForce already. Now I want to start my business in Davao. I need to hire a sales representative in Davao. How many of you here do that? No need, right? If you want to do business in Davao, what do you do? Get people. Talk to the Davao people now. <laughs> and then they become your business partner. As simple as that, okay? So no labor cost. No minimum over very minimum overhead cost. You do have some overhead cost, correct? You do have travels, travel costs. Uh, phone calls, internet calls, stomach, but very minimal. Even you don't do business, you still spend this. Yes. Do you agree with me? Yes. If you don't do business, do you still text? Yes. If you don't do business, do you do still Facebook? Yes. Yes. Twitter? Yes. Instagram? Yes. Facebook Live? Yes. You're doing the same thing, same expenses, but you can become a business expenses. Okay? Next! No? Inventory required. Everything was shown by the company, right? We invest the inventory for you, alright? Next. No advertisement fee. Do you need to pay advertisement fee? No. Maybe, lah, maybe, okay? <laughs> Depends. If you are doing Facebook ad, yeah, you have some advertisement fee, but very limited, okay? No location. Restriction, right? If you start here, can you do business in Cebu? Yes. Tabao? Yes. Vigo? Yes. Kajon Avenue? Yes. So anyway, it's anywhere you want to go, no restriction. On the location. No time? Restriction. No time? Restriction. When you sleep, do you still have income? Yes. Ask Edison, okay? <laughs> he will tell you, right? <laughs> so, whether he poo poo, he. Anyway, okay? <laughs> so, he still has money, okay? Alright. No time restriction. Alright, you always have money, okay? You are your own boss. You decide when you want to work, when you want to lose. So nobody can instruct you. Nama? Yes. You are your own boss. Okay? so fast? And this is where we call a true form of time and financial freedom. Okay? Demo marketing can really give you time and financial freedom. Okay? The most valuable things in our world today is time. Your time is more valuable than money. Because today's is only happened once in your life. You can never reverse again. Time is more valuable. Okay? Now, traditional business, basically this is the concept of it. That you need to understand why the company can pay you so much commission. Why? From where? Uh, from the sky? <laughs> no, we get the money from this because the traditional channel of distributing the products require a lot of middlemen. Example, a manufacturer produces a product. When they want to distribute this to other worlds, they have an international distributors. Alright, they have to find the master distributors in that country. And the master Franchise or master distributor have to give it to regional. Regional have to give to local, local to, re to retail. Retail have to give to the end user. Now, in between these distributors, this middleman, everybody have profit or not? Yes. Are you still with me? Yes. They still have profit. And depend. Depend. Maybe 20, 20, 20, 10. Five. If you want to do five percent, nobody wants to do the business. Maybe ten, right? Maybe five. But if you mount up all the money easily here, it's seventy-five percent of the cost of your products. It was true because we are we deal with supplier. We know your cloak, the cloak that you are wearing. You know how much is your is the markup? You know, if 100 pesos is a cost, how much they mark up for your group? 300%. 300 percent? How many? Just give a well guess. Your group, let's say 100 pesos, how much they mark up before they sell to you? Easily, five times. Easily, 
five times. If 100 pesos is the cost, 500 pesos is the markup before you can see in the store. So that's why they can do 50% off, 70% off. They are still making money. <laughs> right? Now all this part of the money that was incurred in the traditional channel was being saved in the network marketing and we give it to the members. The 75% saving that we have, we turn it into commissions to you before we give it to other middlemen. There's no middlemen here. We cut the middlemen, we go direct to the the members. That's where we have we can give you high commission. Do you understand? Yes. So network marketing is a legitimate concept. And it's a concept that instead of benefiting a few people, we save the money, we benefit everyone. Everyone. Do you know that? That's why I love network marketing. Because it gives a channel and a platform for normal people to start earning more. That's network marketing, okay? Now, why network marketing? Let me give you four reasons before you go home, okay? Number one. Everybody? Yes. There's no race. There's no race here. You buy the product, you love the products. Don't do a network marketing business if you don't love the products. I'm so sorry. Don't start like this. Start a business because you love the products. Okay, we have zero risk. Because I saw a lot of documentary they complain about they lose money in network marketing. They don't lose money. The money they say they lost is all in their products. They don't sell the product. How can you lose the money? This product is still there. Okay? So you don't love the product and you don't believe the value of the product. You think it's a loss. No. The money is in the products. Okay? Next. You can. How many of you here is under employment? Can I say hands? You're still working. You honest with me? One, two, three. Again. How many of you still have your job? Okay. Two, three. Alright? So, good thing is, if you want to start the journey of their marketing, you can start immediately today. And you don't need to quit your job. You need to let your prospect know about this. We're giving you a courage to jump from the left to the right, start learning entrepreneurship, but to make sure that you can handle the risk, we don't ask you to quit your yeah. job. You can still keep your job, but your part-time, your leisure time, you can convert into a business. <coughs> okay? So that's the beauty of their marketing. In traditional business, can you do that? Oh, no. oh I still have a job, but I actually have a boutique. So who can take care of the day? I don't know. Somebody taking care of it. Okay? <laughs> Impossible, right? So, hassle free. In network marketing, it's hassle free. You don't need to hire people. It was managed by us. You don't need to have accountants to calculate commissions. We have accountants to calculate your commissions. So, it's hassle free. Number four, believe me, network marketing is the faster route and the faster way to achieve your financial. Freedom. I'm not saying this as a money game thing. I'm saying this to you. This is the faster way to achieve your financial goal and your daily necessity. Okay? Why I say that? Imagine that your daily income in your traditional job, one day is how much you'll be earning? Let's assume 550 pesos, okay? How much is your profit in one box of algae? 600? 35. 35. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Sell one box of the algae? You call your boss today, I'm on leave. I have enough money, okay? Sell two box? I sit for two days. Sell 30 box? Boss, this whole month I'm not going to come in. Okay? Sell 100 box? Boss, I'm resigned. I'm resigned. You're fired. You understand? <laughs> that's, that's what I say fast. Because if you use your own way, your own traditional way, you need to work at least eight hours. Even though you don't work, you have to show your face. Come on. If you go to the office, look at the, 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 the monitor, and do nothing, and daydreaming, you still have to show your face there. Correct? 
Just make sure you have 500 pairs, so come on. But in GFOX, sell one box is your one day salary. That's changed a lot of people. Okay. So welcome to the most amazing business opportunity in the Philippines. You give yourself the biggest round of applause. But I want you to listen to the real story rather than I say, alright? So I want to invite the leaders who already committed to share your story. Can I invite them? Uh, Chris? Yeah. After that, you just follow, right? So can we give a round of applause for Chris? <laughs>
based on my experience na rin po na kahit po pala ganito ang hirap yung buhay, is kaya po pala akong masustain, basta lang po uh, uh, madiscard at lumaha, uh, madiscard na sa buhay. So next po is, hanggang sa nakagraduate po ako, uh, sa tulong po yung GFAX International sa Kapalit Union. Pinsan ko po yung isa na maliit na lalaki. Yung nanay ko po pala is uh, nagtatarbaho po siya as uh, parang cashier din po sa isang, wait, uh, sa isang restaurant na kung iisipin is uh, tumatanda naman po yung mga magulang natin and lahat po is nagkakasakit. Nag-isip ko po bata pa lang po ko sa hirap ng buhay is what if uh, mawala po yung nanay ko. Uh, Naisip ko po na yung maliit ko kung hindi po kayong kawawa kung hindi po yung maliit ko na kapatid na babae. <coughs> na naisip ko sino yung mag-aalala doon. Uh, una pa lang naisip ko na dapat ako yung mag-aaral doon. Dapat mapakita ko sa mga bulang manakaya kung tumay yung sarili ko pa. Na dapat na matulungan ko sila. Hindi lang na uh, Nasasabi mo na mahal mo yung magulang mo. Siyempre po, naisip ko na dapat uh, actional po para may pakita ko sila na kaya ko sila tulungan. Yes! After graduating po, um, hindi na po ako nagtaksaya ng panahon para mag-apply ko sa mga ano ng trabaho. Dahil nakikita ko naman po na malaki po yung chance na baguhan po ni GFOX International yung buhay ko. Yan, yeah. nag-umpisa na po ako ma-yan, nag-aaral po ako ng business, nag-aaral-aaral ko na po siya. Hanggang uh, nag-explain na po ako sa mga tao para i-share yung business opportunity na kung ano yung nakikita ko, uh, kung ano yung nag-i-close ko in the future ko na para ako na nangyayari ko po yung G-Fox, is kaya din pa, kaya din pa po yun yung kanilang buhay. Yes. So yan po, uh, yan, yan po yung mga group of shipments ko po na na doon po pala yun po yung mga benevento po na ng mga products for you tayo yung minamarket po namin. Then, dyan po is napakalaking tulong po sa amin dahil sa yung benta po ng products na GFOX International. Ayan po. So, kung dati po ah, ngayon po na punta na po ulit sa mga nakakadal ng new building na nasama na po yung mga uh, mga business partner ko para makapag-training then para kami sila in person. Uh, kung dati po yung mga ay po pupunta lang sa um, sasakay ng isang sakay lang para puntaan yung mga kaibigan ko, uh, hindi po ako sumasama. Kasi totally wala po talaga akong pamasahe. Uh, Dinadailan ko na lang po uh, ayaw kasi uh, meron akong mga gagawin. So ganun na lang po yung ginagawa ko. So ngayon po uh, nakasama na po ako sa kanila. Yan. Sila po yung mga nagamit sa amin. Yan. Ito po yung team po ito na aming team powers. Uh, sila po yung isa sa mga tumulong po sa amin. Uh, so bakit po pinili sa GFAX International? So unang-una po, pinili po sa GFAX International, hindi lang sa uh, malaki yung kinikita rito. Kasi for sure po marami sa inyo na mal- uh, Meron ang mga kinikita talaga na malaki kahit employed, uh, na-employed pa lang or nag-i-business na rin. Uh, Pinili ko po or ginawa, ginagawa ko po si GFAX dahil sa nakita, nakikita ko po nakita yung po or pag-asa ko na possible ko po pala dito makuha yung mga pangarap. Kasi nung una po, hindi ko po talaga nakikita na uh, mag-aaral ako, uh, sobrang talaga ko sa pag-aaral. And hindi ko naman kaya kabutin yung pagiging engineer sa uh, sustain ko ng pag-aaral ko sa waiter. So nakita ko po yung GFAX International na kaya po niyang sustain yung lahat po ng pangailangan ko. And beside, kaya po niyang tulungan or kaya niyang ibigay yung pinapangarap ko na buhay. Yes, yes! May wisdom din po kung bakit po pinigil sa GFAX, uh, walang uh, bilang sa kung bakit po pinigil sa GFAX International is 
Pakitaan ko po ng hope na ganun nga, na makakatulong sa akin. And nakita ko yung mother ko na kaya ko siya kaya sa buhay. Eh kung ibabalik po natin, ginagawa ko po si GPAX International, hindi lang dahil dun sa family ko, but aside from that, is dahil po sa inisip ko po yung kapakanan ng uh, kapakanan ng uh, magiging future wife ko po.